Get ready for an insect invasion that has not been seen for many decades. This dual emergence is a phenomenon that was last observed in 1803. Billions of these winged insects will make their appearance across the Midwest and the Southeast, commencing in some areas in late April. This will mark the beginning of a raucous mating ritual that typically evokes both fascination and annoyance. This year marks a unique event with the simultaneous emergence of two groups of cicadas, Brood 13 and Brood 19. This occurrence is extremely uncommon as each pair of 13-year and 17-year broods align their cycles only once every 221 years. What further adds to the extraordinary nature of this year's event is the fact that these two broods coincidentally established their habitats next to each other, resulting in a narrow overlap in central Illinois. The last simultaneous emergence of these two broods was during Thomas Jefferson's presidency, making this year's event a once-in-a-lifetime phenomenon. Entomologist Jean Kritsky, author of A Tale of Two Broods, and based at Mount St. Joseph University in Cincinnati, has documented this year's dual emergence in a book. After 2024, Brood 13 and Brood 19 cicadas will not emerge simultaneously for another 221 years. These cicadas are known as periodical insects and spend most of their lives underground, feeding on tree roots. After either 13 or 17 years, depending on their specific brood, the cicadas will tunnel to the surface to mature and engage in a noisy month-long search for a mate. I've talked to half a dozen people already who want to go on vacation and come into the area to seek the cicadas," he said. In years past, I've also helped people plan vacations to leave while the cicadas are here. In parts of the southeast, where brood 19 cicadas make their home, the insects will likely start to pop up from the underground beginning in late April. Then. On a rolling basis as conditions warm throughout the southeast and midwest, more cicadas will surface through May and June. Once they reach the surface, the insects shed their nymph exoskeletons and unfurl their wings. It typically takes several more days for their adult skin to harden. The mating ritual itself is a whirlwind, with just weeks for cicadas to find a mate and lay their eggs before they die. The entire process lasts about six weeks. By July 1st, they're gone. While the cicadas are above ground, scientists are keen to track where they appear. Kritsky himself will be studying cicadas around the Chicago area, and he's hoping people elsewhere across the Midwest and Southeast will report their sightings on the Cicada Safari app. Mapping the insects' range can help researchers understand how cicadas are adapting and changing between cycles. During this year's dual emergence, scientists are also interested in whether any crossbreeding will occur between the two distinct broods. But even beyond science, this year offers a chance to experience a once-in-a-lifetime phenomenon these insects emerge, and they do so in large numbers, creating a cacophony with their mating calls. The high-pitched buzz, or mating song, they emit can reach up to 100 decibels, similar to the noise level of a motorcycle or jackhammer. While harmless to humans, the billions of emerging insects can create a noisy environment for a few weeks before they reach the end of their life cycles, leaving behind many insect carcasses. This spectacle may attract some and repel others, as noted by Kritsky, who developed the Cicada Safari app for reporting cicada sightings. When the soil temperature reaches around 64 degrees Fahrenheit in the spring, the cicadas typically emerge. Brood 13 cicadas can be found in the Midwest, primarily in Illinois, as well as in parts of Wisconsin, Ohio, and Iowa. Meanwhile, Brood 19 cicadas have been sighted over a much larger geographic area, including Missouri, Illinois, Louisiana, North Carolina, Virginia, and Maryland. Please leave any questions or comment below and a thumbs up would help our channel. Hope you enjoyed it.